hi um, I've had a mosquito or something split my bottom lip and it looks like I've had something done to my lips but I haven't I can assure you it should be gone in the next couple of days I hope um, so the run-up to the election has begun and we see David Lammy talk about how children in his constituency are starving and blaming the Tories for that. He is such a disingenuous turd. They can't see that we are now way too aware of their ever-altering mindsets where they failed to oppose cutting school dinners for children. He supports Sir Kid Starver in all of that and then comes out with this tosh at election time. We see so many people being this way and these people tend to be in those high positions. The most powerful and important people are the most deceptive. And that gives the, us the idea that being deceptive is acceptable and even something to be admired. As someone who is introspective and self-aware, I've made it my life's work to be aware of deception in myself and how I show up in the world and to change anything I see in myself that might be disingenuous and deceptive. Many wonder at why I gain so many followers and I do believe that we are all able to pick up on the feelings from those who do the work on themselves compared to those who do not. Having said that, those we want to like us often have preconceived ideas of others and how deceptive others can be and they apply it to the next person who comes into their lives. Whether or not that person is someone like me who does this work every day, not just in meditations that I practice, but also in the new practices that I'm doing of Islam. Still, there are others who hurt the people that come into their lives. And so their self-protection becomes greater than their ability to allow themselves to be raw and vulnerable. Our previous experiences will have built brick walls that are often impossible to tear down and if we want to be loved for who we are we must be totally that. No masks, no bells and whistles to make us appear to be more acceptable. The wrong people will be attracted to your bells and whistles and so you will have to forever add these things to yourself to keep up the appearance of being someone this person could like. Often raw energy of a healed person who comes with no masks and frighten people even more than the comforts that deception brings. There's a poem I love about masks and relationships by Shel Silverstein and it goes, She had blue skin and so did he. He hid it and so did she. They searched for blue the whole life through. They passed right by and never knew. In this poem, blue skin represents a quality such as socialism, in my opinion, and care that others in today's society seem to think is a bad quality, even though it is an important part of our identity. Many of us these days are coming out as truly ourselves because people like Jeremy Corbyn gave us the permission to do so by being that himself and showing us how we can be loved as we are. It's unfortunate that the poem speaks of blue as being a colour that others hide, as blue is the colour of the Tories, but still the blue to me in our love is our love and care in this poem and when we expose this part of ourselves we meet our tribe. We come together as one and others join us whilst more powerful influencers like George Galloway is also enabled us to open and be true about our political visions and views no longer having to stand on platforms with the opposite to be heard. And we will stand strong and true in our convictions, regardless of who we stood by. Angela Rayner was telling us that she was on stage with Jeremy Corbyn and that he had slid into photos to photobomb her. And this time it shows the world it is a power and a movement of love and good that doesn't require war or lies and deception. Um, we support the South African use of the International Courts of Justice and we want justice done by seeing Netanyahu and the monsters who have ignored international law being held to account. You may dislike George Galloway for certain things, but the truth is that you will never find someone something that he can be imprisoned for. The Labour Party has, has turned a corner and it's not something we want to be voting for now. It's being exposed along with the leader, Keir Starmer, for its deceptive qualities. And so yesterday, we turned the corner of being about 
better tomorrow, bring about a better tomorrow with those who stand strong on a socialist platform and won't waver any longer in doing so. Thanks for listening. Bye.